Hi everyone, let's try this again. I told you this was my first one, I had it on reverse. Let me know if you're there and we can get started. Hi Danielle. <laughs> We'll wait just a minute so everyone has time to catch up. Maybe they thought I couldn't get on. Hi, Maylee. I wish I could do a two-way and see you guys at the same time. One more, about 30 seconds more. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I'm Susan with the Withered Barm right here in Homedale, Idaho. And I thought I would do my first live. I do videos, but normally just um, my hands and the project. So this is a first, and I've decided I'm gonna do the signage from Iron Orchids Designs with their image transfer from their 2018 summer release called Stores and Harrison Company. It's like a nursery signage. Let's see if you guys can see that up close, right there. And even though this is a little tube, this is a big image transfer. It is 12 inches by 60 inches, so five foot. It's a big sign. I've already went ahead and did half of it because it comes in two pieces and I would be sitting here all day long rubbing, trying to make sure it got on. So I'm gonna show you the second half and I'm gonna also show you, let me move this out of the way. We're going to crackle it with IOD Craculure Decor Stamp. And if you can see what that looks like, it makes it look old and vintagey without all the work. Let me show you what the stamp looks like. It's a big 12 by 12 silicone, very durable and detailed stamp. And see if you can see all of the crackle detail on that. It's gorgeous and they're so durable, reusable, but I'm going to put some chalk paint over this lightly set it on our decor transfer and just tickle it and we'll show you what it looks like. We'll do that here in a second. Let me get started on this second half of this board. I would hold it up for you, but it is it is literally a huge, and that's even backwards, but it's a huge sign. When you get your IOD transfer, it's gonna come in this really sturdy tube. And inside the tube, this particular transfer comes in two parts. The first one I already put on, and here's what they look like. They come on an acetate sheet with a wax paper on the back just so that it doesn't stick. And this board is just a standard board that I bought from either Home Depot or Lowe's. It's one inch by 12 inch by six foot and I've done nothing but centered the um, image on the board. I did give it a, a light wash, not a heavy painting, of Miss Lillian's cobblestone. It's not quite an antique white. It's a little bit darker because I wanted to go for a more dark vintagey look. But let me show you real quick how easy this is. Once you do one, you're addicted. All you can think of is what else can I put these on? I put them on cabinets, dressers, on mirrors. I've got a mirror workshop coming up and even the clay pot transformation that is on Thursday. We'll have these type of decors. They're just in smaller dimensions. So I'm just gonna make sure this lines up with my first one and I'm going to tape it down. 
and that's just to steady it so when I'm rubbing, it doesn't slide all over the place. So make sure that's on there too. Oh, you want to win the drawing? <laughs> Do you have a place to put it? Okay. So now that's on there, right where I want it to go. So I'm going to peel up this side over here with my tape. And I'm going to take off the wax paper from the underneath. One little tip is make sure you don't have lotion on your hands because the image on the bottom is very delicate. And that little bit of grease from your hands will make it not stick. So all I did was peel that wax paper out from underneath and I'm just gonna kinda lightly rub it with my hand to help it to stick. And I don't know if anybody remembers way back in the day, thought I'd never say that. Um, the little image transfers that you'd rub and rub and it had wax paper on the top and then you'd peel the wax paper off and the image was on there. This is kind of like that. So inside your tube, you also get your applicator stick. So that's what we're gonna do is we are gonna rub this image on here. And I probably won't rub the entire thing. We'll go ahead and finish on the other side, but I want you to see how easy it is. It doesn't look as easy on, well, I'm doing it because I'm a little sore on the shoulder. But you'll see it turn gray and it tends to lift off of the acetate and you know that your image has stuck. And that's what makes each piece unique too is some of the little differences in the nuances that don't come through or where you've rubbed harder than other spots makes your piece unique every single time. There will not be anyone the same. This particular one I have painted with uh, some watered down chalk paint just to give it a little bit more of a vintagey look. And then I'll go across it again with a, um, some sandpaper and then the crackle. So let me show you this corner real quick. And you will see it came off of the paper. There's the transfer there, I don't wanna to touch it. And it's on the board now. And I'll go over it lightly with my fingers, make sure it's on there. Again, with no lotion on my hands. And you just continue to rub all the way down. ahead because I could sit here and rub all day long but nobody wants to watch that so I'm going to go ahead and pull out the cracular stamp and we're going to do the other side I'll finish this up tonight before announcing the winner hi Lindsay I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it, it the paper tends to crackle and you can tell that it's lifted off the transfer and you know that it's worked. But it is literally that easy. It's just peeling off. So let me start over on the other side. Hopefully you guys can see it. Can you guys see it? Isn't that pretty? And it is on there, it is stuck on there. It looks like an old crackled vintage sign. So let me show you real quick the crackle. It looks like this one has actually overlapped the edge a little bit. So what I will do is I'll sand that off and just make it nice and smooth. But here's my crackular stamp. use the brayer and I'm gonna crackle mine today I thought about doing it with kind of a like a metallic haze then I changed my mind I wanted to do much more vintage and old so this is just um, my signature color with Miss Lillian's no wax chalk paint this is called withered barn 
and it'll dry just a little bit darker on the side. Okay, I'm gonna wipe the excess off my brayer. And then I'm just gonna lightly go over the crackle. just start right here in the middle. I'm just going to lay it down and I'm just going to tickle it because I don't want it everywhere. It's got to look random. Okay. And then I'm going to peel it off. Oh my gosh, I love it. Let me set this over here. Let me see if I can get you guys in on here. Um, I don't know if I can. Can you guys see that? Yeah? No? Let me see if I can hold it up. Let's see. I don't want to mess up my transfer. I have it done. Can you guys see the crackle on there? And it's the perfect amount. It doesn't look like it's overdone. And it's so easy to do. So I'll let this dry. I'll crackle this side, crackle the next, finish this transfer. Maybe sand the edges a little more just to get a, a little more rustic look. But this is the look I'm going for. Um, all of these items are available on the website, and that's thewitheredbarn.com. And I think I'm even going to do a class where we do the same exact sign. You guys can choose to paint the flowers like I've done, um, whitewash them, or not whitewash them, water them, or leave it as is you can crackle it if you want or don't crackle it but i'm going to do this sign class and i've decided i'm going to do it on saturday august 5th i think that's a saturday right let me see you can't see it ah okay hold on let me move this out of the way and i'll show you let's see if we can get it over there now can you see it the crackle so it's just enough. If you want to do more crackle, you can. You can just crackle the heck out of it. I just want a touch of crackle. And I decided to do the brown crackle because I thought that might look a little older. Maybe I'll mix two colors. Who knows? I never know. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to have that class August 5th, if that's a Saturday, at 2 p.m. I've already got that loaded on the website. Lindsay, is Saturday the 4th? Well, if it's the 4th, whichever day that Saturday is, at 2 p.m., if uh, you guys want to do that class, I'm going to do six. If I have more than six people that want to do it, I'll do two Saturdays in a row. So it uh, just depends on how many people p.m. me. But um, let me get this finished so that... I can put y'all's names in the drawing and get this little lady over to a new home. Thanks for joining me on my first live.